Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own watermark. Now normally when you want to watermark, you go to the design tab and you can get watermark from the right hand side here. And you've got some preloaded ones down the bottom there. You can create your own custom watermark. So this is what I want to do. So you've got the options of a picture and you've got scaling options and you can select a picture. You've got a text option and then you've got some options in there, but you can actually type things in there. So I'm just going to type Steve. That's the one I want. You can color it if you like. So let's go for red and then you can have it semi-transparent or horizontal or diagonal. So I'm going to have it all as it's set there. Okay to this. And there you've got your watermark. Now what I want is to be able to drop this watermark anywhere in any document without having to do all of that. Now, when you've done a watermark, it actually sits in the header area. So if I click into the header, I can click onto this. And you can see that the tabs come up at the top there. This is actually just a word art set of text. You can spin it around yourself if you want. Go back into the header and footer. But what I want to do is select this. So I've got it clicked clicked on it. I want to add this to the auto text gallery so I can drop it in any document. To do that, I need to go back to insert, quick parts, auto text, save selection to the auto text gallery, and then give it a name. So I'm just going to call it water. It's going in the auto text gallery and it's going in the normal template. You can select a category if you want, create a new one, but I'm going to leave it on general. And you can also put some description in there. So this is a watermark just with text. But if I'd have done a picture as well, that would be available uh, to the auto text list also. Clicking OK to that. Now to see if it works, if I do Control N for new and then type water. And the tip that normally comes up when you are doing the auto text isn't there. So I'm just going to press F3. And the F3 will drop that in on this document. If I just drop this down a little bit so you can see it, there it is. So normally when you do auto text that isn't part of the header and footer, you'll get the little tip coming up there and you can just press enter and it'll drop it in. But because that's in the header, it didn't do that. I just typed water and then F3 and it dropped it in. So it's sat, there's two there now. It's sitting on top. It actually looks better that way. It's probably a bit too right so if i close this down control w not saving it control w not saving it control n for new and then just type water activate it with f3 there it drops in i'm just going to undo that control z undo now if i create another one but this time i'll use an image a picture we'll get that one in there and i'll call it something different so back to design watermark custom and then this time I'm going to use a picture, a select picture, and then you've got from file or from Bing image. I'll just pick something from the internet, uh, an apple, that'll do. That looks nice. Insert that. Now you've got options here, look, to wash this out or not. I will have it washed out and I'll just click OK. So the apple has gone into the header again. So if I just double click on that. Click on the image, go back to the insert tab, add this to the auto text entry, and I'll just call it Apple. Everything else is OK. OK to that. And then come out of this, get myself a new document, type Apple. Nothing, no tip comes up. Press F3, the function key F3, and there it is. It drops it in for you. So whether you're doing a text watermark or a picture watermark, whichever you do, if you save it into the auto text gallery, you can activate it with the keyword, whatever you've called it, plus the F3 function key. So hopefully this little video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.